What's up, Foxy and Foxy? Today we're taking a look at the Microsoft Ergonomic Keyboard. The baby's first ergonomic keyboard. Now, this is, I think, $60 new. I got this at Best Buy Open Box Excellent for $21.99. Best Buy regularly has them on sale for like $30, bucks, and I'm sure it's not just Best Buy, too. I'm not a shill. I'm sure Amazon has it on sale all the time as well. Um, but I have been having a lot of wrist strain lately because I've been writing so much as I get into my third and fourth year of my degree. Um that I had to get something to try and alleviate some of that wrist strain. And I've been looking at ergonomic keyboards and I needed something just in the meantime before getting like a real keyboard to test if ergonomics would work. So I decided to pick up the Microsoft ergonomic keyboard, uh, which is usually a lot of people's first foray into ergonomic keyboards because it is very entry level and cheap. Um, so I'm excited to see what this is like. Now, this isn't a brand new box. I don't know if it's gonna have everything in it that you would normally get because I did get it uh, open box, uh, but it is in excellent condition. You could not tell me if this wasn't brand new. All right, let's, let's, let's see what, what's happening in here. This condom is very difficult to get off. I don't understand. That's not what I wanted to do. That's not good. Oh, they did retape it, just not on the circle tapes. Still no, did this tape? It's, it's still attached. Oh my God, I just ruined the box. I am so upset. <laughs> All right, let's see if... Okay. Thank you. Finally. Holy crap. Okay. So here's the box. Before we get into that, though, let's just talk briefly on uh, what's on the back here. Microsoft Ergonomic Keyboard provides amazing comfort for law or mirrors of productivity and helps reduce uh, risk of fatigue and injury with advanced ergonomic features. Uh, split ergonomic design, arched keyboard, cushioned palm rest with premium fabric. Uh, and then uh, optional palm rest included. Nice. Wow, that's actually really good. Dedicated office key. Yep, that's a Windows thing. Let's take a look. Actually, I don't think this is going to be that bad. For being like babies first, I think it's because when I think of this, I think of it as a $21 keyboard. But no, this is a $60 keyboard. I don't expect it to be mechanical by any stretch of the imagination, uh, which is going to be difficult considering my main keyboard is the Keychron K2 wireless which has tactile brown switches. I can get up to like 108 words per minute on this machine. Uh, so I'll be interested to see what it's like to go straight to ergonomic without having any previous expertise. Uh, and I'm not quite a touch typist yet, um, but I'm working on it. So this is gonna ruin that for me and I'm excited. Alrighty, here goes. Oh. It's a keyboard. Here is the optional wrist rest or a crowbar to kill somebody with. I can't tell. This doesn't feel like a wrist rest. It feels like it's made of metal. What is, th oh, I get it. It goes like, I don't get it. Optional palm rest lift is on the back of the bottom of the keyboard. Gotcha, okay. I might need that because my chair is a little bit higher than my desk, which is great. I'm glad they include that. And then uh, paper. I guess terms and conditions or something like that and warnings telling you that this keyboard somehow contains cancer in California, but nowhere else. There is hair on this. I guess that's what you get for not getting brand new. Might have jumped the gun on saying it was hair. It was probably just dust. Um, looks brand new now, but I am just gonna give it a wipe down before we plug her in. Definitely a membrane, which I expected considering like the Logitech Ergo is, what's it called, pseudo-mechanical because it's low profile. So like, I didn't expect the $60 keyboard to be mechanical. This is weird. So first impressions right off the bat, it's, it's, this is what you would see in an office, uh, which is fine. Like that's kind of the point of an ergonomic keyboard. I'm not gonna be upset about that, uh, but it's very bog standard. Um, it's like the most Dell looking Windows keyboard I've ever seen in my entire life. With that said, there are a lot of keys on here that, uh, are nice to have, I guess because this keyboard is massive. Like this is not a small form factor, which is funny because I've had 60% for such a long time. Uh, and I'm still gonna use my 60% for gaming because that just makes sense. Um, even though that probably causes more carpal tunnel than any amount of typing that I do. That space bar is just mush. We are going to add the palm wrist rest, I guess. Ooh, power up your ergonomic keyboard with Microsoft mouse and keyboard center. Cool. All right, that is the palm rest. That feels nice. Okay, let's just readjust. Okay, this is gonna be difficult to get used to. I'm excited though. This is dumb. I love it. Uh, there's only one thing left to do, I think. Uh, 
Ah, not my best showing, but that's fine. Uh, okay, but my, my wrists are very tense writing on this keyboard, especially as I try to race against the clock in terms of like getting a good score on typing tests. Um, but just in general too, I'm actually gonna get rid of this because I think that that elevates my wrists too much. Uh, yes, this is this is about right, I would say. Okay, it just takes a little bit of practice. We're not gonna get up to 69, but I'm just gonna keep trying. Um, the biggest problem that I have right now is that I always thought B would be on this side. You can see that the N is elongated. I would have much rather had the B on here. Um, but once you get yourself situated to the home row, uh, you're gonna be fine. Okay, I'm not going to get up to my words uh, on this run. I think it'll take me a few hours, but I also see it turning out fine in the end. Um, the biggest issue that I have is that the end is long on this side and the B is on this side, which I guess in typing class you're supposed to learn, but I always thought a B on the right side, so that'll mess me up every now and again. But other than that, it's a perfectly fine keyboard. The tactility of the keyboard is terrible. This is a mushy keyboard. This is mushy membrane. Um, with that said, the comfortability is unlike any other keyboard I've ever had. Uh, even in the one minute typing test that I took with the Keychron, my wrist was already feeling like not strained but tense uh with this not at all um which is fantastic so i'm just gonna keep using it for that comfortability sake all righty future yeah fox here with an addendum and uh i am going to try a typing test right now because i have just spent two hours on this keyboard and i have to say i'm really enjoying it so far i'm not having any wrist strain really uh which is nice compared to my other keyboard in which that was most certainly the case um, so I just want to run through a typing test now that I feel like I've gotten back up to speed, uh, just to see, uh, where I'm at. Okay, I'm only at 50 words per minute, but I have to say the only word that's messing me up right now, or the letter, I should say, is B. B is the only thing that messes me up because I've always thought of it on the right side, which makes me very angry that I accidentally keep typing M. Um, but other than that, this keyboard is fantastic. I am so comfortable using it, um, and I know that after a few more hours of typing and working on this, I'm gonna have no issues transitioning completely over to this. Um, so I highly recommend it for 30 bucks or 40 bucks. I think $60, the asking price of this, is too much for what you get. You are essentially getting what is a $10 keyboard with a, let's say, $10 to $20 wrist dressed, plus, you know, the added ergonomic design, which is worth R&D in and of itself. But I think that for 40 bucks or less, this keyboard is something you should consider if you wanna get into ergonomics and kind of understand if it's something for you. Um, I will say, you don't get an LED backlight, you don't get anything like that. This is the most bog standard keyboard I've ever seen in my entire life, except for the Wave. Um, but I think that Wave adds an extra dimension that is going to help me and other people in the long run, especially if you're somebody like me who writes a bunch. Um, I don't think for an ordinary person, you're gonna have to worry about carpal tunnel and things like that. But because I'm already having the effects of carpal tunnel show up in my wrists, I knew that I had to try and change something. And I gotta say, I think this is a great option so far. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, like like, subscribe, do as you usually do, and as always, buy yourself something nice.